a race that promised to be down to the wire delivered. Now elected to New Jersey's newly redrawn 7th Congressional, a man whose family tradition lies in public office. Tom Kane's father was the two-term governor here. Tom Kane himself was a legislative leader in Trenton and resigned that position a couple of years ago to pursue this federal run for office. Tom Kane Jr. declared victory the day after Election Day, saying in part, quote, I'm incredibly grateful to the voters of the 7th District for their confidence. My solemn pledge to you will always be to serve with integrity, to listen, to learn, to earn this responsibility you've honored me with, to steer this nation towards greater opportunity. His opponent, Representative Tom Malinowski, conceding the race around midday Wednesday, saying in part, quote, while we did as well or better than in 2020 in communities I have represented these last four years, and I expect the results to tighten further as all votes are counted, the new district proved too much of a hurdle to overcome. Here's the thing I would say. Ryder University professor and director of the Rebovich Institute for New Jersey Politics, Micah Rasmussen, says Kane is part of a long lineage of public servants in the Garden State going back to the Revolutionary War. His family goes back to the very beginning. His family has ties to uh, Governor Livingston, who was the first governor of New Jersey. His family has been involved in this nation and leading this nation in Congress from the very beginning. Though Kane's victory does flip a seat from blue to red, Rasmussen says New Jerseyans shouldn't expect much of a difference in their representation in Washington. You have Tom Kane, who'll be new to the delegation, and you have Rob Menendez Jr., who'll be new to the delegation. So in 10 out of the 12 cases, it's the same member of Congress who's going back down to Washington. I think the biggest difference will be that we think Republicans will be in control of the House. PIX11 attempted to contact the Kane campaign and did not hear back. Jim Vassell, PIX11 News.